have a good time with this. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. So oh, for some reason, it looks kind of small, but it's big. So take off the foot band, which I, I kind of like this foot band, uh, other than the, the Jewel Estate logo that I don't care for. This foot band has got a little bit of texture to it. Uh, if I turn that like that, can you see the texture? There's a little bit of texture to it. It's kind of cool. And the bronze color, pretty cool. My taste bud disappears. So it's not a bad stick. Full body. Like, can you go any fuller than this full body? Like, I, I smoke life. Bro. You want to be burned to death? You know, somewhere between a, 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 a burning hell and living hell. And that's what it is. If this, I, thing, th if this is where it ends on my review, you know I die right after this. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's not a bad cigar. It has a little bit of leather too. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Story Stars Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today, I don't know why, you know, here's one of those things like you, when you worry about a cigar and somebody had a, like a bad review of some other cigar or somebody tried it, they like to send it to you. So this is one of those cigars where Eric is like, you gotta have a good time with this. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. So, Eric sent me this um, blackened M81 Maduro to the core by Jewish Day. Here we go. So, I don't know much about the cigar. In fact, I cannot relate. Obviously, it says M81 Maduro to the core. It might be a reference because it's supposed to be made that can relate to Metallica or something like that which I can't relate. I don't know anything about Metallica. But when it said Maduro, Maduro to the core, I was thinking that it was Maduro all the way in, Maduro outside, Maduro medium, Maduro, you know, but you know, it's really not, right? So I don't know. The rapper is Mexican San Andreas, Binders USA, Connecticut, River Valley, Broadleaf, and the filler is Nicaraguan and USA, Pennsylvania, and yeah. So uh, I can already imagine how that gotta taste like because i don't know why people use pennsylvania usa leaf they tend to taste weird when they do so anyways uh in turn of price and size let's get to the price and size it is six by 52 toro nine dollar and 85 cents uh msrp which, I don't know, for some reason it looks kind of small, but it's big. So, That's what she said! <laughs> take off the foot band, which I, I kind of like this foot band, uh, other than the, the Jewel Estate logo that I don't care for. This foot band has got a little bit of texture to it. Uh, if I turn that like that, can you see the texture? There's a little bit of texture to it, it's kind of cool. And the bronze color, pretty cool. No smell. I don't know what you say. There's no smell. So, okay. All right. This cigar is leaking. How do I know? Because I can take a draw with a cap on. All right. 
We'll see what happens. Do I just lose? Wow. A earthy clone. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Tastes like Calvin Klein. Maduro to the core. Calvin Klein. You know, um, I don't know. It tastes like uh, a sports, um, sports cologne. Ugh. All right. This is going to be really interesting. I mean, in typical Drew Estate fashion, I mean, their cigars are usually really weird. Flavored and, you know, different. Mm. Spicy. It's very spicy. Very, very spicy. Ooh. That. Oh, that pepper note. Earthy. Salty. Oh. A bitter leather. Yep, I found where that, that came from. Some floral, that which is probably why it kind of tastes like cologne, is floral. Earthy, floral, leather, salty. That sounds like a really bad combination for an armpit. But oh my god, it's, that pepper is going to kill me. That's a lot of pepper. Alright, I'm going to smoke this thing very, very slowly. Oh, very, very slowly before this thing kills me. And um, we'll be back one third. Ooh. This thing spicy. Yep. Be back. Be right back. Okay. Uh just about first third, but I want to do it before my um my taste bud disappears. So it's not a bad stick. I want to put it out there, even though Drew Estate is not a bad stick. But it's floral, it's earthy, uh, it has a little bit of sweetness. Almost like fruity. But biggest issue. This thing is full body. Like, can you go any fuller than this full body? Like, I smoke for a little bit. Like, oh, my throat is drying up. <clears throat> I can start feeling that strength. I had to have a little soda. Like, I'm dying here with, with the strength, okay? And then, the pepper will kill me. The amount of pepper on this thing... It's one of the highest pepper amount I have ever smoked out of all the cigars. That's a lot of pepper. A lot of pepper. I'm afraid to retrohale because every time I retrohale, it stays. I literally retrohaled about less than a month, uh, maybe a minute ago. And it still lingers. It still burns. It still burns. I don't know what they put in here, but it burns. Yeah, just that little bit. If you just saw a little bit smoke coming out of my nose, that little bit will burn for the next two or three minutes. It's, it's a heavy, tough cigar. Now, I can understand if you want to go like death metal or metal. Yeah, this is for you. Like, you hate life. You hate life. You want to be burned to death, you know, somewhere between a, 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 a burning hell and living hell. 
And that's what it is. This thing burns. So if you like pepper, this is for you. You will love this because it's got some nice tones in there. And then it burns the hell out of you. So this is what I got from the first third. It's really tough, serious, not joking. As bold as you can get, cigar. This thing kills. Wow. Wow. All right. So let me go to the second third. If I if this is where it ends on my review, you know I die right after this. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second. All right. So pepper died down finally, and uh, the flavor is still the same. It's floral. It's earthy. It might have a little bit of woodsiness to it. But it's not bad. It's not a bad cigar. It has a little bit of leather too. Pepper died down, but still there. It still has some pepper. You're gonna get a full level of flavor in this cigar. And there's no joke. This this cigar is, is no joke. It's no joke. You had to smoke this very slowly because that full strength will catch up to you. It will say, hey, hello, I'm here. You know, play some Metallica in your head and it's a very 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 strong cigar when it says blackened oh yeah this is how you get people just say yeah the color doesn't matter the color tells you how strong it is now oh, this this is one of those cases it literally warned you it's blackened so you know me smoking this cigar i'm changing to black and so uh i think this cigar has its place on the shelf for a lot of, a lot of people because there's a lot of people that love full strength bodied and peppery cigar that's what what this is that's what this is so i'm on the last third now why are i taking a very slow i'm gonna tap the ash off let's just look at how simple this cigar is because it's only two band right and this two band i think visually makes an impact it tells you this cigar is no joke. And if I can take this off. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. So all it does is a black band that says blackened. In like a like a stripe through font. And this black band with copper color really stands out. I think that if you are someone that worry about strength. By just simply looking at these two bands in a box, pretty sure it's a black box, that should tell you, like, don't mess with this cigar. Do not mess with this cigar. And this thing literally tells you that. This thing literally says, do not mess with me. So, it's good design. It is Maduro to the core. Maduro to the core. Yeah. Scary cigar. I had to smoke it very slowly, drinking my soda very slowly to get it. But flavor, not bad. I, I thought it was going to be bad. But, you know, this level of earthiness, floral, uh, leather combination is not bad. It's not bad. But it still tastes kind of like cologne. But it's not like very, very strong cologne. It's like a very, it's not like Cuba Cuba strong, right? It's like very m balanced ish because of floral which i'm totally fine with this cigar has a good aroma um i think any more than this it'll start to taste like maybe a flavor cigar of some sort but it didn't go there so yeah last stir let's finish this up and i will tell you what i think in the end i guess yeah kind of scares me so i'll be right back okay so i'm back last stir similar to the second stir more strength, slightly more mellow flavor, but more of the same stuff, all right? Stronger in terms of uh, strength. Now, this cigar is worth, to me, $10. $10, okay? It's worth what you would be paying for. I don't know how much you pay for. Nine eighty-five. so it's about the same. 10 bucks. 10 bucks cigars. Uh, in fact, uh, if you like pepper, this could be 11. 
I don't like pepper, so it couldn't go past 10 for me for, for this particular cigar. This just burns me in the first third. And the strength is too strong for me. Uh, I had to really slow down for this particular cigar. So that being said, if you like strength, you like pepper, this is the cigar for you. This is cigar for you. And I, I can't believe I've seen that for, for Jewish State Cigar, but Jewish State Cigar is not very expensive. So uh, it's priced to sell. All right, it's priced to sell. So definitely worth the price. Definitely is a cigar that people can smoke, but not not for a cigar of the day, for sure. You know, you got to have something to drink, something to eat uh, to be able to smoke this cigar. Definitely not for beginners. Beginners, don't smoke this cigar. You, you will die. All right, so uh, don't do not do that. Don't do that. Uh, other than that, uh, in terms of the relation to Metallica, I don't relate it to at all, so I can't say much about that, but... Cigar itself, ten dollars. Um, flavor is there, not very bad. Uh, a flavor, I, I don't know. You know, I think I think Eric said that cigar is bad, but not bad. Um, and uh, strength is a little bit too high, and the uh, pepper is a little bit too much. And that was it. And and other than that, it's a good cigar. It's a good cigar. All right. So that will be it for this particular review. Thanks uh, to Smoke One if you have one. Um, providing the cigar for me to smoke because this would definitely be a cigar that by just looking at it, I won't buy it because I know I'll die, All right? So make sure to also check out um, all the channels that's listed in the description. Uh, those are good channels with a lot of different reviews that are, um, I'm trying to figure out a word for that. Interesting, interesting, all right? So. That's it for this review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, share, comment. Uh, if you don't, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.